Hello Tiger fans and welcome to Earning Their Stripes. I'm Thomas Watson, a senior government and history major from Midlothian, Virginia. And today I'm joined by Nick Davis, a senior defensive tackle here on the football team from Buckingham, a biology major with a minor in history. Correct. Are you ready to earn your stripes today? Let's go. All right, let's do it, Nick. So first one's today for you. Who is your favorite professional athlete? Uh, okay, I, I'm biased because I'm a defensive lineman, but I'll have to say J.J. Watt because um, I've always looked up to him and how he plays and everything else that. But also outside of him, like what he does for his community and everything is all outstanding as well. So I would all have to say J.J. Watt. What about your favorite food? Okay, I'm a big guy, fried chicken. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, I cannot live without. What about your go-to TV show? Oh, man, okay. Okay, my go-to TV show would probably have to be something really stupid for I can get just turn off my brain. So usually like Rick and Morty. All right, so what are some of the things that motivate you to work hard? Okay, number one is family. Um, I have to say that for indefinite fact. I do everything for them. I try my best to, at everything I do to make my parents proud and just supporting my family and everything else like that. And probably the second thing would be... Um, God and making sure I go back up to him, but I know in general I, I'm, I use I think I am pretty good with him. Definitely, two good reasons for there for you. Right. Uh, what about one of your proudest accomplishments? <sighs> All right, one of my proudest accomplishments was kind of odd. It's the ability to read. When I was much younger, I had a reading disability. I could not like it was about my third year in school, and I could not pronounce words still. So I had massive amounts of tutoring, a lot of work put into me, and now my mom had, like especially my mom, she shoves it in my face every time I start looking down on myself, but I have been able to improve from that indefinitely and can grow as a person because of that. So, I'm gonna make you choose between three options here. Okay. Call, text, or FaceTime. Okay, I'm, I love um, FaceTime because that's like a newer feature we gotten used to nowadays because of uh, quarantine and like all that type of stuff. But um, personally, I like phone calls. They're quick. They you get the job done, and you're good on that. If you had to give me some good words to describe yourself, what do you got for me? I really don't like talking about myself personally, <laughs> but I have been told by a lot of my friends I'm loyal and uh, like. I'm, I'm relatively quiet. I don't talk much. I'm like, if you talk to me, I'll talk to you. But I, I'm usually pretty quiet. And, um, but I am, I, am um, I will do anything you ask me to do. What about, you know, your favorite subject in school? Okay, my favorite subject in school is probably bi biology itself, but more of the natural world of biology. Um, I am very interested in like, conservation efforts and all that type of stuff. And the animal kingdom, I've always been influenced by that. And um, I've, it's always been the easiest subject for me as well. But I also like history and everything else like that too. Very cool. What about you know one of your some of your hobbies and interests when you're not in the classroom or on the field? Okay, um, my biggest hobby would probably be paleontology. I keep up with date with that. Um, I love dinosaurs. I love the whole prehistoric kingdom. If any people have questions about that, they literally nicknamed me on the team Dino Day for a reason. <laughs> so that was the whole story. But I've always been, like, I love learning about it. I keep up to date with most information on all that type of stuff. If you could be anybody for a day or do anything, what, would you, what are you going to do? Who would you be? What would you do? Okay. Personally, I would like to be just the next Steve Irwin or someone like that. Do massive conservation effort, go around the world, meet amazing animals and stuff like that for a day. But... Another thing I would really like to do is just spend like a lot of time with my dad and everything on the farm. Like we have we have a farm up in Buckingham and we have like we work for Smithfield and stuff and I just love working with my dad. We got about 6,000 hogs, 40 some cattle and like 300 acres of hay and it's a lot to manage. So me and my dad and my brother have been doing that for years now and we uh we got like this weekend I got to go um go home and watch a hog house and stuff like that too. So it's still the backbone of America. Yeah, Absolutely. Basically. So, if you had to rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you rate yourself? A 2. 
Oh, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm not funny. Like, my jokes will always fall flat, but I do get some quick um, quips in there, here and there sometimes. Usually I have to get set up for it, and it'll just come to me. I'm like on the moment type funny, but I'm usually the quiet guy that laughs at all the jokes are being said and stuff like that. So on the same scale, what are your friends going to say? Okay, as friends, probably a six or five-ish, I guess. The so your friends are being a little nicer. A little bit nicer, but um, like, to be honest, it's just I'm not I'm not that talkative, so it's kind of hard for me to be funny. But when I do talk, it's it, they usually get a laugh out of it sometimes. But do you have a favorite spot here on campus? Probably the Wilson Trail when I'm all by myself, peace at nature and everything else like that. You think you just take it all in, you breathe. And you're good. And that's how you get for today. If you had to recommend me a favorite book, what do you got for me? Okay. Another thing about paleontology, the Jurassic Park, original Jurassic Park novels. Um, I love the original story. The movie was still a good representation, but the original story had a lot more, um, like, just character development and everything else like that. And it's just a lot more um, like a horror story, like the Jurassic Park movie should have been. Beach? Or mountains? Definitely mountains. Definitely mountains? Okay. Um, beach, I'm terrified of jellyfish. I do not like them. They, I've got, I was very young. We were in Florida. I got stung by one. I did not like the beach after that. But um, in the mountains, it's very peaceful. Like again, like in the forest, it's very beautiful, very um, calming. And you also get to see some unique wildlife we usually don't get around here. Who knows you best? My brother. And definitely, uh, his name's Michael Davis. He he's actually with me at Sydney right now, and uh, we're roommates and all that. But I have to say, he probably knows me the very best, and um, he will always have my back, and I always have his. And that's simple as that. Some brotherly love there, then. Facts on that. So that was the last one we had for you today, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Nick Davis, and he has earned his stripes. <laughs>